We did it. <laughs> we put the shell on the dome and it was not easy. Hey everyone, we are out at the farm for the entire week. Yes, not a weekend this time. So well, actually it is a weekend. We're here on Saturday and we're staying till uh, we think maybe Thursday-ish. Uh, we were gonna stay the whole weekend, but we just have to get back for a few things. But anyway, we're here to do a lot. We are going to be, fingers crossed, putting up the dome this weekend. So that is beyond exciting. I can't wait to see that finally up. We still need to finish the platform. Uh, but the only thing that needs to be done, I think, is just the plywood on top. I'm, I don't think there's anything else, no other uh, finishing touches. But the plywood on top, and then we'll be ready to start setting up the dome. We have the dome here. I will show you in a little bit. Uh, it's just it's just also exciting. It's coming together. Uh, we also have a big planting planting expedition ahead of us. I have so, I want to say hundreds, but I don't think it's quite hundreds. But it is at least a hundred dahlia tubers to plant and we have other things like, oh gosh, uh, artichokes. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the bulbs we got. I know we got some anemones, which I think we're a little late on anemones, but it's fine. Um, we have, I think they're mostly dahlia tubers. We have uh, asparagus, we have some ramps actually. Uh, there's just a bunch of random stuff, but you guys are gonna be coming along with us while we plant those. I think today's goal is to plant as much as we can. We are supposed to get rain the next three, two or three days, I think. Today we did get rain this morning, but I don't think it's gonna rain the rest of the day. So good for planting, not good for dome building. We are also supposed to get a shipment of lumber to hopefully move forward with the build for our outdoor shower and compost building but we don't know if we're gonna get that far. We also have all of those animal sheds to build, but we don't wanna do all of those this week, we might do one. Um, those are just some of the ideas that we have. Um, it's all gonna depend on rain, because I know that a lot more is expected than usual, because uh, it, is, it is that time of the year. But anyway, super exciting. I can't wait for you guys to come along, so let's get to work. Right, what do we got, what do we got? This is a little king snipe. Oh, it's a baby. Goes. It's sketched out because I've never actually picked a case like that before. Careful, Briar's coming. Hey! Oh my! He's such a cutie! Oh, he's so cute! That's awesome. <laughs> wow. We had just seen a black snake, by the yeah, way. Yeah, there's literally just a black snake here. All right, you guys, we're going to be putting work in on the fence. Um, it hasn't, like, I don't know, five vlogs ago, been put it up. But it wasn't like it's official put upness. So that's what we're doing now. I think the plans have changed for it, too. Ben, would you grace us with your presence and tell us what we're about to do? So we're going we're gonna to put a trip line, like another poly line a few feet out from the fence and we'll leave three lines on the main fence and then we'll make like a little gate system right here with some hooks we've got. Yep. Finally getting that done and then we'll be able to plant out in the garden. I mean we could do that now but we'll be leaving it tonight so we don't want to leave our precious tubers and bulbs in the ground.
so far, we've gotten the trip wire out. I'll show you closer up when we're finished. And then we've got on the main fence, two of the wires up and we just need to do one more. But right now Ben's mowing. We charged the battery for the mower. So he's mowing around um, and under the, the wires. So everything works properly. I just got out some, uh, or the, the actual battery, so we'll be taking a look at that soon and should have this fence up and running by the end of the day. This is our big project for today. I'll be so happy when this project is done and then I can finally plant my stuff. And I'll be doing a whole video on that over on Wild Pines Farm channel. Um, link to that will be in the description box, but it's not just planting in general. It's going to be, I think, a dahlia planting specific video. But anyway, enough about that. I gotta get back to work and we gotta get this last wire up. We won't be done when that's up, when the last wire is up, but we'll be really close to being done because we still gotta attach it to the battery. And I guess we're gonna drive a post for the battery. I'm not sure what we're doing there, but uh, let's keep going. Alright guys, we have mostly finished this, mostly, so it's not plugged in, that needs to charge for a little bit, um, it's completely solar powered, and we need to do grounding rot, and that'll do it, and I think we're going to do that tomorrow, hopefully, um, if not before we start planting things, not for sure, for sure, if we're planting tomorrow, but we hope to, uh, but that's going to wrap it up for today, I'm tired. <laughs> Get some food. Let's go. See you guys tomorrow. I got a ride. <laughs> <laughs> Checking out all the trees. Almost all of them are looking good. All of them are looking good. Yeah. Hazelnuts, chestnuts, and pecans. 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 All right. Aw, ride's over. <laughs> all right. Day number two. I'm already exhausted. We just. No, we started, we need to start on this, the plywood. We brought one down, but it's a little heavy, so we're going to wait for the tractor, I think. Or my truck is dead, so we need to jump that and do that. I'm not sure which one we're doing. But anyway, we're going to work on the floor now, and then we'll get to work on the dome.
here's just a closer look at the platform. It's all cut and it just looks so great. It's not, the dome's not coming out to the sides. I mean, I don't know how far it's supposed to come out anyway, but it's not coming out to the sides, mostly because it's not, <laughs> we haven't finished it and it's still standing up straight and kind of bowing out at the top. So once it starts being put together, it, it should push out to the bottom, hopefully. We do have a tarp here because we are getting some rain tonight. We thought maybe we'd be able to finish it and we'd have the cover on and it wouldn't, we wouldn't have had to have worried about that, but it's fine. This is a huge tarp. It should cover the entire thing. We do have to put that on. Um, but here it is. This is it. This is where we're going to add on a deck later. We're not going to do that right away, but we've done it. We have the platform in. This is just beyond exciting. We're literally going to have a dome. Well, not a full dome. It's not going to be fully done, but mostly done. It's not going to be done on the inside, but outside-wise, it'll be done by the end of this week. How exciting is that? But there it is. We're planting our asparagus. So much for no dig. <laughs> no, just kidding. You have to start somewhere, right? Yeah. So, this is the original garden, right? We're doing a space here. And then this is where the next set of beds is going to start until we fill this all up and then it's time for expansion. <laughs> but we have some, what is it, purple passion asparagus that's looking really rough because we took too long to plant it. Uh, but I think it'll be okay. We have approximately 30 here to plant. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to fill out most of this bed. Well, we will fill out most of this bed. All right, you guys, I'm going to be wrapping up today's portion of this vlog, not the entire vlog, just today. And we will be back tomorrow with some more planting and dome building and probably some other things. Welcome everyone to whatever we're at here. Day three. Day three <laughs> of this weekend's dome build. Week. This week? Week. 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 <laughs> Let's do it. It rained last night. It did rain. We had a tarp on it. Tarp got, leaked. Got some leaks, but it's all right. It'll be all right. It's also really cold. It was really hot yesterday. Really cold today. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully we'll at least get the full frame on today. Got a ladder now. And we'll see what happens after that.
Hello. Hello. Welcome to your Welcome crib. To, the, to our, <laughs> our dome crib. <laughs> Let's have a tour. It's not done yet. <laughs> Look at that. And we have a big skylight. I thought it was just gonna be one triangle. And then we have the rest of it. We still need to strap it down and I don't know what else, I do everything inside. But this was the big part. Oh, we have to attach the door as well. We did it. <laughs> We put the shell on the dome and it was not easy. No. <laughs> it was horrible, horrible, but it's done. And we still need to do the door, like I said before, when we did the little tour, but here's the, here's the overlook. Here's the outside, our beautiful giant window. The sky looks so awesome yeah. behind it too. Can't believe we did it. Yeah, that's crazy. But that's gonna wrap up today. We'll be back tomorrow. Um, well, we're not wrapping up the vlog. We're just going to continue. We're ending the day. Day three. Day three? I think it's day three. But anyway, we will we'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do. Probably finish this up and plant stuff maybe. We'll, mm. we'll, we'll let you guys know. Hello? Well, hey. <laughs> All right. So it's day four, I think. I don't know, I've lost track of the days, but it's the next day and we forgot to start the vlog. We've been working for like three or four hours now. We got this door frame in. That was interesting because we've got no instructions. <laughs> but we put the door frame in and we anchored the whole thing down, which would have been nice to know about at the beginning because we had to, you see there, had to put those brackets on. So if we would have put those on first at the beginning of the, the whole procedure, assembly, it would have been a little bit easier, but we've been doing that. I, did we do anything else? I think that was it. Uh, the door, yep. the brackets. Yep. Yes. That took about like four hours. Yeah. And that was like all unnecessary because we I also could have put the door on earlier as well, so. Just gotta, gotta read instructions. We didn't have any though. We did have that one map. I don't know if I showed you guys. It was just a map of the dome with numbers of which pieces needed to go in. But that's all we had to work with. There's our beautiful view in the back. I don't know if we're doing anything else with the dome. We do have our door right here, but we're um, getting door instructions before we put that in, I think. Um, oh, we do kind of need to tie down the actual shell itself. That might be uh, something we need to do today. But we just gotta get some rope and go through the grommets and tie it down. But I think that's it, because once that's secure, we'll be solid and it won't, it'll, it shouldn't fly away. <laughs> um, it shouldn't fly away now, but we don't want to lose the tarp because that did take a very long time to put together. So that's that. I was gonna plant today. I don't know if we'll get to planting, but. So that's it for today. We got a good bit done on the dome. We also got a little bit of planting and prep for some more planting done. Got some artichokes out, sweet potatoes. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, but we're ready for our big planting tomorrow. Hopefully we've got all the plants in the dome because we might get a little frost tonight, um, but we should be good to plant out tomorrow. So we'll see you tomorrow. All right, you guys, we are back. <laughs> Briar, <laughs> back here at the farm. I've lost the count of the days, but um, <laughs> we've been here for quite a while. I don't want to say it's been a wash of a day, but this morning um, we I did, didn't film much um, vlog-wise, but we were trying to put the door on the dome. Um, I think that's probably the hardest part, <laughs> um, just because we don't have the right parts. It just didn't come with the right parts. Didn't come with the kit. The instructions, which we did follow up with the company and get some instructions, but they don't match up with the door that we have. It's just, it's been a time. So we did spend maybe an hour and a half, maybe two hours, closer probably to two hours trying to get this door to work. 
We gave up for the day. We followed up with the company again to see if they can provide some inside or whatever. We're going to have to buy the extra parts at a different hardware store, which we don't, li this farm isn't close by a hardware store, so we're just gonna have to wait till probably next week, hopefully. <laughs> I guess I was a little bad. I was a little mad. I was a little mad that it wasn't working out, but it's fine. At least we know now what parts we need and we will get it straightened out. So the only things left to do, I mean, there's a lot left to do with the dome, but we have to get the door on and we have to get it tied down. It is it has brackets now, so it's it's tied down essentially, but we got to tie the tent around. Um, and tomorrow is our last day here, so we want to do that hopefully at least tie it down not necessarily the door but at least tie it down before we leave so right now ben's on the tractor just kind of cutting us paths because it's getting out of control here <laughs> we were doing the little push mower but we can't walk I mean, we can walk places but you know it's such a long drive it's a hard time but he's having fun on the tractor and i'm getting ready to plant my dahlias finally so many to plant um, once he's done, we have the dogs locked up in the car, so I'm watching them just so they don't do anything dumb with the tractor. Once he's done with that, then I'm going to bust out all the Dahlia stuff. i got to start the video. We're going to do a big Dahlia planting video over on the Wild Pines Farm Channel, so make sure you go check that video out. Uh, before the rest of the day, I think we're just going to play in the garden. Um, I'll show you guys little clips here and there. But I don't think we're going to do much else today. It's already pretty late. It's already almost 4. So we, we, it's been a lot of time just fiddling with the dome and I feel like we didn't get anything done. Um, Cause like the first thing that we're getting done, Ben went on a walk and then he started up the tractor and that's kind of like stuff checking off our list. But anyway, we're moving on from the fiasco that is the dome and we are moving towards the garden, which we wanted to do like last week, weeks before that. So it'll be a relief to finally start doing that anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed the view of the dome and that's the garden like right there um, and it goes into the like not into the woods but that way a little bit more too so i think i'm gonna think i'm gonna assume ben's gonna finish uh hooking up the electric fence today while i start planting tubers but i'm not sure but i'll let you guys know All over your chin. Do I really? <laughs> yeah. Is it gone? Oh, just quickly. What do we do? We got a lot of the dahlias. I almost said all the dahlias, <laughs> but a lot of the dahlias out. We got like 90% of our first 20 foot bed all full, and then we've got our second 20 foot bed that's half like more. About half full. Yeah. A little less, really. We've still got some to, to fill in, but right. we've got a grid system and yeah, a spreadsheet to kind of keep track of everything. So Working on it. Yep. So we didn't get them all done. We'll continue tomorrow. And we still have some at home, so we'll also continue next week. Also other non-dahlia plants. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, those are ready, I think. Oh, gosh. Those are so long overdue. What do we even have? I know we have bleeding heart and... I don't know, a still... A still... Peonies. Oh, okay. Peonies. Uh, gladiolas. Wow. Bleeding heart, dicentras, all kinds of stuff. Flocks, yeah, just lot, lot lots of stuff. Lots of stuff to go. So, Whew. time to call it a day. Yeah, that's going to wrap up our day today. Um, we'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow's our last day out here for the week. See what we can get done. Good morning, everyone. It is our last day out here at the farm for the week. And then we're going to be back at it next weekend. But we had a really, really awesome week. And we I'm just happy we got the dome up. Really wish we could have got the door on. I think that would have like put the icing on the cake. But we'll get our supplies for next week. I'm not sure what our next step or our next big project is going to be. It might still be the dome. Um, it might be the animal enclosures. I'm not sure. Right. Breakfast time for the doggies. These two are just waiting for treats. <laughs> and I eating their food. I'm actually in charge of all of the dogs right now. <laughs> We're watching Parker again. Um, and we have, of course, our three dogs. So I'm watching them. 
because we are expecting someone here at the property and we want to keep them down here while they park and everything but I'm watching them Ben's waiting for them up there and Hurley and we have chaos happening right now <laughs> um, Hurley's just trying to guard his food bowl and being a little bit of a jerk but that's okay Briar's just being a little sister you know for today i'm going to plant the rest of the dahlias out i'm going to water them really heavily and i am also going to be tenting them they're not not tenting netting them like covering them with our row covers and we got to get the electric fence turned on so we do have like a, uh, yesterday yesterday we planted dahlias and we never turned on the electric fence everything ended up being fine but we obviously are going to be gone for a longer period of time this time around so we want to make sure no little animals are going to be taking my dahlia tubers but i'm so excited because the last of my dahlia tubers have arrived at the house and they're probably some of my favorite ones so i'm really hyped i'm going to probably pre-sprout those as soon as i get home i could keep talking and talking but i really do need to watch the dogs to make sure they don't go up there so i'll keep you posted on what we uh get done i'll probably head over there and start doing the dahlia stuff very soon um i want to get them watered before it gets too sunny i don't know maybe i should wait till it happens we'll see we'll see but i am also going to be planting some other things it's there's there's a lot of stuff we still need to plant today <laughs> So we did end up moving the big compost bag, the, the last compost bag down here because we're going to be adding more compost on top. I haven't checked on the dahlias yet, so we have to look at those. Um, you see some posts over here. We've kind of worked on an idea of a trellis system. So we're gonna do blueberries. There's two blueberries right there, but we're gonna do blueberries here. Then we're going to have a basically a trellis tunnel, essentially going from like this is the two edges of the tunnel all the way down to the road like we have a small little road in this pasture that goes into the next pasture and you know so we go from pasture to pasture so we're gonna have that and go all the way down and I think that's gonna be primarily grapes maybe kiwis as well I'm not sure what we decided on that um, and then down here as you can see we've already started it's going to be our raspberry and blackberry row we have some blackberries planted and we still need to ID the blackberries and raspberries we have at the house before we transfer them over here. And we're going to do that in the fall. So we're letting them fruit at the house. And then we'll flag them and label them. Maybe propagate some of them and bring them out here. So the reason I say, you know, you, you can usually tell a raspberry from a blackberry before there's berries on them. But we do have different varieties. We have a thornless um, variety of blackberry. We also have some fall gold raspberries, so I kind of want to just figure out what we have um, before we plant them out here. So these are just like regular old blackberries. Briar! <laughs> and I'm really excited to get started on this trellis here. So the trellis is actually going to have clematis on it to start. We do have some grapes. We have some concord grapes that we need to bring out here, but we're going to do that in the fall as well. Um, but we are going to plant clematis here in the front. We have two different varieties. We have a purple and a pink. I don't remember the names of the varieties though. But we are going to be putting those here in the front for now. And probably maybe move some of them later or probably get some add some more onto our line. Because that's going to be a really long trail. It's going to be super awesome. Let's go look at the dahlias. Here's the garden. I don't know if I told you guys or if you were here, but I started just laying out cardboard because I want to make the garden bigger. I mean, the garden's pretty big right now. You can see the fence, but I want to make this all garden beds, but we do no dig. 
well, except for the asparagus over there, that was an emergency, we had to dig for that, but um, we try to do no dig, um, no till, so I've just started laying all the cardboard out that we have. Every week we usually bring out cardboard, so this was all the cardboard that we brought out this week, and then next week I will bring out even more and we'll just keep going until this is all covered, and I won't be able to plant in it probably till next year or maybe late fall, maybe late fall. But it's going to be exciting to have all of this area ready to plant because we're pretty much full up. We have this whole first bed in dahlia, tuber, well all dahlias, tuber, seedling. <laughs> Let's go. We have this whole first row in dahlias and the whole second row. And we have more at home we need to bring out. So it's going to be most of what we have left, the space we have left. So if we come over here. This is peanuts. This like from this post here. And I think from here to here we have some kind of flower, maybe anemones. And then from this post on is the rest of the dahlia space we have. And I think we have at least 40 dahlia seedlings sitting at home and cuttings. So I'm a little nervous. But the good news is we don't have the fence on. And it looks like these made it through the night. Like, look at that. I'm very impressed. I'm very happy with this. These are mostly seedlings that you see that are already plants. Um, this one actually was a tuber I pre-sprouted and those ones were tubers I pre-sprouted. So they're looking fantastic. I'm just so excited. I cannot wait to see what we get from the seedlings. If you guys want to follow along with that, make sure you follow um, and subscribe and all of that stuff to our, our wild, wild Pines Farm social media. All the links will be in the description. But I'm so excited to see what the flowers are going to look like. Because last year we started with, I think we started with six varieties. So we had a Black Satin, Picasso, Michaela Miranda, Mercury, Mardi Gras, El Sol. I think that's all we had. And I actually, El Sol and Mercury, I don't have planted out here. I have the tubers because Dahlia's produce plenty of tubers every year, and I divide them, and then we have multiple plants. Um, the Mercury and the El Sol allegedly aren't great cut flowers, and we didn't really have much success with them. Um, they were in pots, and we did get like a couple flowers, maybe like three flowers each plant, maybe a little bit more. But it wasn't great, and it might be because I was keeping them in pots, but I'm not 100% sure. Still, um, I didn't want to plant them in the main spot. I think we're going to plant them somewhere where, where they're more like just for fun, like by the dome or something, if we can find another sunny spot. But that's mostly because we're out of space in here. <laughs> I'm kind of just making sacrifices. But the rest of these I haven't seen. Oh yeah, we actually also did honeydew last year. I loved honeydew. It was so beautiful. But unfortunately, we, we kind of had it more in a shadier spot because our garden at home doesn't get much sun to begin with. So it was in a more shadier spot. And unfortunately, it only grew, I think, one tuber. And that tuber did not make it through storage. So I'm very bummed about that. <laughs> like, super bummed. But it happened. And I tried to find a replacement for it, but they were sold out everywhere. So hopefully next year I can get a replacement for honeydew. Or maybe I'll find a seedling that's even better. Anyway, still watching the dogs. I have to, I'm going to take them on a little bit of a walk. Maybe distract them. Here, Briar. Here. Here. Good girl. Um, but anyway, that's the Dahlia situation. And if you want to follow along with that, Wild Pines Farm is where it's at. And this is all behind the scenes. So you never know what you're going to see on here. All right, we got to get out of here before the dogs. Oh, I didn't show you the rest of the garden. Just real quick. So like I said, this is the rest of the Dahlia space. And then our last plantable row here has our leftover sweet potatoes, some, what are they, the Tomer Picotti Ranunculus, I think, and then tomatoes. These are our leftover tomatoes. And then the back has corn. Um, I think it's the peaches and cream corn, actually. I haven't grown this, but I have eaten it from uh, local farmers, and it's just amazing. So this will be the first time growing it out here. Should be, should be a super cool, but... We have like lots of the leftover bigger tomato varieties like the pineapple tomatoes and uh, Amano tomatoes and I think there's even gr green zebra in here. I'm not 100% sure. But we do have some cherries we're going to need to bring out here and squeeze in somewhere. I think. Unless we find spaces at home. But this is it. This is all we have going on. And we're pretty much at max capacity. Mainly why we had to 
I wanted a more permanent spot for the asparagus, obviously, because it's a perennial. It's just, it's just going to keep going. So since we're not expanding the garden this way, this is just the perfect spot for it. And we didn't have it ready. So we just decided to dig a little bit of a trench. And we had already had the asparagus for far too long. I think we had it for at least a couple months. And it was starting to sprout and some of it was molding. Like It was just not great. So we have them out here and it's great. And I think if we get um, some green varieties or something, we might do put them in a row up above them or something. Because we don't have any green ones out here yet. We do have some at home, just not out here. But we will be transplanting probably the stuff we have. We also even started asparagus seedlings this year. Um, but it takes a while for it to actually start producing asparagus and to get established. Anyway, I, I'm going to stop rambling about the garden. Here it is in all its glory. It's actually really starting to look good and I'm very happy about it. Super exciting. <laughs> and we're going to turn on the electric fence today, which is, this is our little solar thing. So I will keep you guys posted on that as well. Gotta go watch the dogs. Finally attaching the wire to the solar panel. Getting There's the battery. Electric fence. Yep. We still got grounding to do and connect to the generator. Yep. Not much longer now though. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. And then I'm gonna go plant those last three dahlias we have. I gotta kinda straighten out that bed a little bit, but almost done with planting. And then I gotta get these guys some water. It's looking rather dry. All right, we have spent most of the day planting things out. We've had so many different things to plant this just this whole week. Um, we just planted some phlox and some lily of the valley, and I finished planting the dahlias, and I put the row covers on. Um, unfortunately, they didn't reach the whole, they didn't cover the whole row. Uh, I can move the hoops in and make it work, but we're just, since there's not really many sprouts, we're just gonna leave it on top of the soil to help with the sun beating down on it and to retain some moisture but we did water everything too I didn't film any of that because it's pretty straightforward um i don't know what else we did i think that's pretty much it we've just been it's been really hot it's a very very sunny day i actually think later this week it's going to be 90 degrees too early be sweet and here comes ben um <laughs> what else there, oh, we did move. We got a delivery and we had to move some of the stuff. So we were up by the house and those vultures, if you guys remember from a couple of vlogs ago, were out. They live in that house and there was chaos that ensued with the dogs. They were barking at them like crazy and it was insane. But there's Ben hauling some wood. Hey! Hi! <laughs>